Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. With Ben Howland officially being fired last night by UCLA uh, after 10 seasons in Westwood, in which Howland made three Final Fours, uh, they decided to part ways. The natural now follow-up is going to be uh, who replaces Howland uh, as the UCLA head basketball coach. Obviously, a story tradition at UCLA basketball um, outside of Kentucky, uh, you know, the Kansas and North Carolinas of the world, maybe the most prestigious uh, basketball job there is in the country. You can make an argument it is the most prestigious, but nevertheless, uh, you know, some candidates, I think, that could replace Ben Howland here out there in Los Angeles. Uh, you know, first of all, I think we can eliminate three names that people are going to banter about. First are those being Mark Few, the head coach at Gonzaga. You know, Few has been at Gonzaga for 14 years now. He's been wooed by major programs such as Indiana. It was rumored when that job was open. So I think if he was going to leave for greener pastures, I think he would have done it already. Uh, he seems to fit perfectly uh, in Gonzaga, uh, seems to enjoy his time there. So I'm going to cross Mark Few um, off my list. I'm also going to cross uh, Brad Stevens off my list as well. Uh, Brad Stevens, Again, I just don't think he's an L.A. guy. He has roots in the Midwest, roots at Butler. Uh, let's face it, he can do exactly what he can do at Butler at UCLA. I know UCLA fans don't want to hear that. And could possibly his ceiling be bigger at UCLA if he recruited athletes, recruited more one-and-done guys? Yeah, maybe in terms of national championships. But I think creating a winner year in and year out, he can do that just as good as Butler as at, as is UCLA. And I, I'm surprised I'm even saying that. But that's how the landscape is in college basketball now uh, with these one-and-done players. Uh, the third guy that I think you can cross off the list is Jamie Dixon for obvious reasons. One, uh, you know, he signed a lucrative long-term extension just a couple days ago. So he's going to stay in Pittsburgh as they move to the ACC. And I think it's a good that's a good fit for Pittsburgh and for Jamie Dixon. You're going to hear Jamie Dixon's, you would, you would have heard, I should say, if he didn't sign the extension, Jamie Dixon's name. Because like Howland, he's not only the Pittsburgh coach, but he has you know, roots uh, in Southern California. So I think you cross those three names off. The three names I'm going to focus on as possible replacements uh, for Ben Holland. First is Shaka Smart. Shaka Smart, of course, the head coach of VCU, Virginia Commonwealth. Uh, they lost in the uh, second round the other day to Michigan in the tournament. Obviously, he brought them on that Final Four run a couple years ago. VCU, now members of the A-10. Uh, it'll be interesting to see because Smart is rumored to be the guy that's first on Dan Guerrero's list uh, for potential candidates to replace Howland. And it'll be interesting to see because, you know, Smart is has roots in Wisconsin. He currently coaches in Virginia. He at one time was an assistant at Florida. So, you know, the one place he really hasn't been uh, is out west. So it'll be interesting to see if he wants to make a move out there. Uh, they're going to make a serious play for him. We'll see if he, uh, you know, he, he turned down being interested in the uh, Illinois job. Uh, in order to stay at VCU, we'll see if the lore of you know, Southern California and the tradition of UCLA sort of gets him to perk up and take notice. Uh, but that's a guy, Shaka Smart, that I definitely think will be in the running. Uh, second, a guy you'll be hearing about a lot in the coming week is Greg Marshall, uh, the Wichita State head coach. Wichita State, you know, of the guys I have in this final three here, is the only team left in the NCAA tournament. Okay, they come off an upset of number one seed Gonzaga. All right, so Greg Marshall is going to be a name you hear a lot. He coached Winthrop before Wichita State. Wichita State plays in that Missouri Valley with Creighton. They were sort of second fiddle to Creighton uh, all season in that conference. Uh, but Greg Marshall, a little, little bit of an under the radar name that if some people start to pass up on this job, I think you could hear his name get in the mix. Greg Marshall, head coach at Wichita State. The last name, and the guy I think ultimately gets this job, and I'll tell you why in a second, is Josh Pastner, the head coach of Memphis. Pastner with roots in the Pac-12, most notably with Arizona, okay, uh, takes over for Calipari uh, at Memphis, uh, keeps the program on the straight and narrow, 25-30 wins, it seems like every year, whoever coaches Memphis, but Pastner is known to be a very good recruiter, which I think is going to be important uh, for UCLA obviously, to get that program consistently back up to where it was. I mean, if you look at some of the players they had at the beginning of Howland's regime, whether it's Kevin Love, you know, Russell, Wels Russell Westbrook, Luke and Mute, you know, all NBA guys, uh, you know, and, and the list goes on. I even missed some guys there. But, um, you know, Pastor may be a guy who could come in from a recruiting standpoint with roots in the West 
and really make a difference there. And uh, he's a young guy, energetic guy. And I think that's the way that Dan Guerrero wants to go with this search. Um, we'll see how it pans out. But I think Passner ends up getting the job uh, because I don't think Shaka Smart, when it comes down to it, is going to make a move out to UCLA. Um, you know, all indications from people close to him is it's that it's not a slam dunk that he'll go out there. And I think a job like UCLA, you have to be totally into taking it. You have to be ready for the pressures that come along with it. I kind of compare it to it when Calipari went to Kentucky. He dove head first. I think Pastner will do the same thing uh, if he's brought through the process, interviewed, and offered the job. So I like Josh Pastner to be eventually become the next head coach of UCLA, with Shaka Smart and Greg Marshall certainly being uh, viable candidates. Again, I think uh, Marshall gets an interview or gets some interest at least. They end up never offering him the job. I think Shaka Smart is wooed, wined, and dined, but he doesn't end up going. And I think jo uh, Josh Pastner is the new UCLA head basketball coach. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. Guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload between 5, 10 sports talk videos a day about the NFL, college sports, Major League Baseball. We cover it all here. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for listening, and have a great night.